Okay, so, so far we've discussed uh, time signatures and what whole notes are. Now we want to discuss pitches. Now if you remember from our very first lecture, we talked about the staff being a graphing system. And time, which runs horizontal, is rhythm. Vertical was our pitch. So a pitch is how high or how low of a note you're going to be playing or singing. Ah, uh, that's a high pitch. Oh, that's a low pitch. The first thing we need to know, though, is this strange object you see on the staff right here. This is called a clef. This is a clef, and this is a clef. And there are other types of clefs as well. For right now, we're just going to deal with this clef. This is known as the treble clef, or the G clef. This tells us where notes are on our staff because we can change the lines and spaces to suit what we need them to suit. However, the G clef is going to tell us where the notes are for this particular staff, okay? So the G clef is called a G clef because you see this little curly Q at the bottom there? That circles the line that the note G resides on. So G, would be on the second line from the bottom, okay? So you can always find your notes just by that simple operation because it's just the alphabet. G will be followed by A, B, C, D, E, and then F at the top. Our notation system only goes up to G. So once we hit G, we're starting back at A again. Now if we go backwards the other way, just do the alphabet backwards, and you have F and E. So as long as you can find one note on your staff, you can find all the other notes, because it's just the alphabet, okay? Now, you'll notice that the spaces form a word, F, A, C, E. So that's one way to remember it. So face. That's the spaces starting at the bottom, F, A, C, E. The lines, E, G, B, D, F, well, we can use what's called a pneumatic device. And that is mnemonic device. That is where you're just going to assign a word to each letter. So when I was a little kid, it was every good boy does fine. All right? So you can use any type of uh, device that you want to help you remember this. What's eventually going to happen is you're just going to know where all the lines and spaces are without having to use any type of memorization device. You'll just know them through practice and work, okay? So don't sweat it too much. As we go through this series, the idea is that you will naturally learn all the notes without having to sit down and just stare at it and try and memorize everything. You'll know where they are almost instinctually after a while. So, we have our G clef. The curly Q on the G clef uh, surrounds the line that the note G will be on. And through that, we can find all our other notes. It's just the alphabet, A to G, and then starting over again. The spaces form F-A-C-E, the word face. The lines, E-G-B-D-F, every good boy does fine, or whatever else you want to use to remember it, okay? So those are all our lines and spaces on the G clef. We're just going to stick with that clef. We're not going to worry about this guy down here yet. We will get to him. But we're going to start using these to do some exercises so that we can fully understand and fully start reading actual music, okay? Good.